Disclaimer, I am not a lawyer. Watchmen is a Warner Brothers film and belongs to Paramount Pictures, Warner Brothers, Legendary Pictures, DC, Fox, and their respected owners. This video is in accordance to the copyright law and follows the five points of the fair use clause in the copyright law. God help us all. My life, to step on that one, death is very close. Et donc je criais, regardez, regardez, et il a salué. She's got this whole world where everything's better, but it's all a trap. No, I don't night. believe in Santa Claus. Of course not. That's right. one man flying all around the world and dropping presents out of chimney. Right. One man hearing everybody murmur to him at the same time. That I get. Conclusion of Spidey's Movie Madness, the week-long event of movie reviews counting down to review of the highly anticipated Watchmen. So let's finish this thing off with the last movie in line, Watchmen. So we're finally here, the review of Watchmen. Alan Moore's unfilmable story has finally been made into a movie, but Watchmen still stands as a standalone novel that cannot be made into a well-done movie. In the same regards, Watchmen can't really be reviewed. I mean, where the hell do you even start with such a complex and nihilistic, thought-provoking story such as Watchmen? Honestly. All I can do is give my best simple take on the movie itself, as no reviewer can ever really do the Watchmen any justice. Not me, not big time YouTube reviewers, and not even Hollywood reviewers. No one can review this and give it justice. All we can do is give our simple takes and you could use that as a little guide in helping you decide to watch this movie or not. So with that said, rabid fanboys, chill the fuck out and let's do this thing. Watchmen is one of the most celebrated graphic novels of all time that helped transcend comic books into what we know today. It brought the human nature of superheroes and dark perspectives to the world to the comic book world. It was also a reflection of the complex political issues of the late 80s and life itself as well as posing the question that no other comic books had ever asked during the time. Now since this movie is based off of such an important graphic novel, I have to be a little nitpicky with this review. See I consider three comic books to be what I call the Triforce of comic books and those are The Amazing Spider-Man issue number one, Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns, and The Watchmen. Each of these comic books changed the face of comics as we know them and we have to take a more serious approach to them given their importance and what they've done to comic books. 
See, Spider-Man introduced the idea of the flawed superhero who was not perfect. He wasn't all nifty fifties and perfect. He was a normal person who had bills to pay and a life to live. He was, in essence, an extension of the average person. The Dark Knight Returns brought Batman's character into a more darker and serious nature as well as asking the question, what if Batman got old? Watchmen took that idea and extended it as well as asking many other questions pertaining to life and superheroes. If the Watchmen watch over us, then who's watching over the Watchmen and who are they? Now I'm going through all of this so people who aren't familiar with the Watchmen can have a nice general idea of it. I know that this little short history lesson does Watchmen no justice whatsoever and the gravity of it is much, much more bigger than I've explained it. But take note that I'm trying to condense so much with so little time. In the movie aspect, Watchmen tells the story of the death of a former costume superhero by the name of the Comedian. Another member of the Watchmen, Rorschach, investigates his death and brings the other former members together as the mystery unravels into something much bigger in an alternative 1985 where Nixon is president and the world is in the brink of nuclear annihilation. And that's a basic synopsis of the movie. Now while this movie isn't bad, it isn't excellent, it isn't the comic book on the silver screen, it doesn't do the novel justice and it doesn't meet its hype but it isn't bad either see one of the main problems with this film was that it was hyped to be the second coming of the dark knight or this year's dark knight and that just wasn't the case by a long shot